What is happening, guys? Welcome back to another reaction. We're checking out the bittersweet performance video from Psychers. Their latest comeback has been absolutely freaking awesome. If you missed that reaction, check out the playlist to all things Psychers somewhere up there or in the description of this video. And with that being said, let's go. I'm sorry, that's a performance video? That looks like a fucking full-blown music video. What the fuck? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Fucking molten lava. Jesus. Ooh. Okay, Spidey. Ooh. Ooh. Were those coordinates? Ooh. <coughs> Wait, what? I heard Willy Wonka. Whoa. All eyes on me. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Hello. Fallen angel. Ooh. Holy shit, we got epic in this bitch. That is so freaking cool. That was cool. Holy shit. Oh, the devil hoodies. Damn, that hair. Whoa. Gel of Oblivion. Gel of oh, uh, Gel of Oblivion actually reminds me of like their actual comeback. Cause I was I was like talking about how like uh, damn th there was a really cool comment that I actually want to touch on. Uh, because I was like, it seems like they're enjoying the experiences within this house, but not from necessarily, uh. Like the lyrics, you'll be trapped here and I'll have fun and all that kind of stuff. Once you enter the tricky house, you cannot escape. But the boys themselves are going through like a form of torture in some capacity. Like they're suffering. And like my whole gist in that reaction was like trying to figure out, is there a resolution? Like, can you escape? And then somebody actually commented, um... Uh, Let's see. Uh, KQ is really following the mythology of uh, Do Ka Ebi, Korean goblins. I always said blue goblins. I'm so sorry. It's Korean goblins. I Because of the color blue, and I, I don't know why I always say blue goblins. But So KQ is following with the mythology really hard with psychers. They bring karmic justice to people. They pull pranks and help people who have good karma and will punish people for being bad in life which which is definitely um a punishment so that made me made me think that you know so they're like these goblins they 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 bring punishment they they have fun but at the same time are they being punished like that kind of kind of like made me think about that a little bit in some way. And like the, the darkness of this music video is really, really like amping up on the darkness of, of which, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, damn. 
Ooh. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. Holy shit, this is not a performance video. This is a full blown music video. Like, they're suffering much like they were in Witch. Like, all the demon hands for the fabric. Oh, what in the Venom is happening? Oh, that was literally, that was literally out of Spider-Man 3. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God, that was awesome. Holy shit, this is my favorite song by them, I think. This makes me think that they are as trapped as... the trapped souls that come in that cannot escape the Tricky House. The House of Tricky, sorry. You know? Like, it makes it feel like they are as much of a prisoner as an actual prisoner who's done some, you know, bad shit and now they're torturing him, pranking him, punishing him, being wit, which, which is a, which was, being a witch was punishable by death in like back in the day or, or like the, the illusion of like, uh, the whole, what am I thinking about? Like burn the witch and all that kind of stuff. Like, um, like, there's this constant darkness that is hovering over them, right? There's, like, this fucking venom darkness substance that is consuming them, which makes it think, makes me think, there's also a lot of glitching happening. Like, they're literally glitching. So, the more they try to escape this house of Tricky, they're being tricked themselves because it's just an illusion, and... That's why they're glitching, because they cannot actually escape. Like, it's interesting. Secrets are sweet, yet sometimes bitter. Try escaping, but there's no exit. As literally, they try to escape, but they start to glitch. And then the darkness keeps on hovering over them in the black and white shot. And the black and white shot in itself is very reminiscent of, like, the sphere that is shatter shattering. Like, in the House of Tricky, maybe everything is black and white. Like, there's good, there's bad. Or something along those lines. There's no gray. There's no nuance. There's no... You either are good and you do not have to enter the House of Tricky or you are fucking bad and you have to stay in this House of Tricky. So... I, I'm not sure. Like, this is so fucking fascinating. Honestly, like, the visuals are awesome. Like, those black spheres are really, really interesting. You have, like, this... These shards there were shards of glass and there were like these black shards and one of them was literally poking out of their backs so it's almost like this music video expresses like the darkness that they have within them but they're also like struggling with it themselves because you have like the red visuals with the whispering and then there's the hands uh, behind the fabric um like it's really really interesting but it's like no matter as much as you know someone who enters the house of tricky he will not be able to escape so are they like that's interesting to me really really interesting uh and like the ain't like literally these visuals and like you literally have a cross too so it's almost like uh wings burning like 
you were once an angel, now you kind of like became Lucifer in a way, which makes me think of this puts what was the music video with them jumping in the sky with which was almost like an origin story was it rockstar uh it wasn't homeboy i think it was rockstar like this put this puts a spin on them being like these mm, cheerful high schoolers that were like these angels and now they became blue uh they became korean goblins so them becoming almost like lucifer in some capacity uh, an angel who fell from this from the sky whose wings burned and all that kind of stuff like the biblical shit is really really interesting um and almost like good and evil within like um i don't know like i'm i i, I don't know how far do i want to take it into like fucking christianity and all, all, all that kind of stuff i don't want to talk too much about stuff that i don't fully comprehend or have much understanding in but like the chains being bound by those chains and all those faceless um faces in the background you might get trapped in like it's almost as if like they're ex expressing what will happen to you so vividly because that's what happened to them so they became the these korean goblins these beings that will punish you uh because they're the ones who were punished in the first place it's like the the origin story of you know the devil himself in some capacity who was once an angel too something along those lines uh like the shards of glass like it almost as if like it was a box in the beginning and now it's it shattered and i became the real me or something like that and like all the eyes are so fucking creepy too um and it's like the uh, it reminds me of like in which you have like all these mystical beings with the hoods on and whatnot um it's almost like being judged or something like that um like in terms of like um, symbolism if it was like just a regular song with no mythology in it, it's like eyes judging you it's like being an idol always being judged are they drawing parallels between being an idol and being like a, a, a korean goblin or something like that uh and what fame or you know people prying themselves into your life too much what it can do to you and make you feel like a monster or like even the hair fucking hell looking like fucking ace ventura awesome uh sorry <laughs> uh this was so fucking good um i don't know this music video was so freaking dark it was a music video this is not a fucking performance video this is a full-blown music video that was arguably even more highly produced than which which is crazy uh like shout out to kq entertainment for really really doing something awesome and there's all kinds of coordinates too which is interesting but the the spider-man free visual with the venom like substance and then the shot that literally looks as when topher grace's character in spider-man free gets absorbed by the symbiote and the, the the zoom into the camera as venom's face appears it was very reminiscent uh of that because topher grace initially like are they the topher grace who had or eddie brock sorry are they eddie brock uh, in Spider-Man 3 who you know just had something dark within them and that's why the symbiote just was so accustomed to them and just took over so easily like I'm not I'm not really sure I feel like there's like definitely a lot of like uh parallels drawn between becoming evil but also enjoying it but also on the other hand wanting to escape it at the same time like i'm this this music video was really really intriguing and like the whole feeling like the song is called bittersweet because this whole fucking shit is bittersweet you have all of this power but with great power comes great responsibility and uh or with great power comes uh you know a fuck ton of darkness um i don't know i'm speaking out of my ass honestly if if you've been following the whole mythology and you've been on like reddit posts and like fucking twitter posts and you've been kind of like thinking about the whole storyline let me know in the comment section i would be really really intrigued to learn a little bit more if 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 i made any sense let me know in the comment section as well 
Um, and uh, if there's a comment that can be as specific as possible and detailed as possible and really put it all into a perspective that a dummy like me can understand, I will make sure to pin your post uh, so others can uh, can check it out as well and, um, and, and learn a little bit if you guys are interested in that, of course. But this was awesome. The song itself is fucking dope. The second that riff came in, I was like, this is probably my favorite song by Psychers. Maybe outside of like, I don't know, Rockstar. Uh, all of Tricky House was amazing. Like all of their songs have been absolutely awesome. But like this last comeback really symbolizes like a turn to an, a darker and edgier sound. Um, and, you know, some of their other songs almost like talked about in a way previous comebacks talked about like positivity in some capacity and overcoming something whether it's like the song with the zombie zombies and whatnot but this song is in which th those are more like much darker and edgier focus on the darkness and that you cannot escape it more doomy and gloomy kind of shit which i appreciate because that's my jam but uh also it just really cool character development which makes me think about the next comeback and what the concept is going to be are they going to escape it are they going to stop being goblins are they going to be mischievous goblins uh but still have integrity or something like that are they going to be like a superhero kind of goblins or like fucking i don't know uh anti-hero like it's very interesting like i'm very intrigued more than anything about their next comeback and how um how much even deeper they're gonna go into this concept but uh yeah this was awesome uh the song itself was absolutely freaking amazing and that drop that bridge section was awesome and this music video was so so freaking dark the instrumental was so dark the delivery on the lyrics is so cheeky and filled with so much sass and there's darkness and there's there's just so much personality between all of the members is, you know, vocals, rapping, everything is just so incredibly animated sounding. It's absolutely awesome. Psyker is, is one of the most exciting groups of the last couple of years by far. I really, really enjoyed this one. And it's probably my favorite song um, by Psykers. At the very least, my favorite music video from them. So if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you all in the next one.